Good morning to one and all. In continuation with the yesterday's topic related to the diseases, today we will in the human health and disease, we will discuss something more diseases like first one, amoebic dysentery. Ascariasis, Ascariasis, Uchale, Uchareliasis, or Elephantiasis, Elephantiasis. Elephantiasis and <coughs> Ringo. So today we try to discuss this if anything then more malaria. Now I may be dysentery. I may be dysentery. Also called as amoebiasis. So this amoebic descent is caused by protozoan entamoeba. Histolytica Entamoeba histolytica So it infects generally Large intestine Large intestine So it causes heavy bloody motions or bloody dysentery and mucus also. Heavy bloody motions and mucus. Famous in Sri Krishna Devadaya of Vijayanagara dynasty. Death because of amoebic dysentery. Amoebic dysentery. So, what are the characteristics we see in this particular organism? Here, pain, head. Severe motions, that is, blood motions, blood motions. So, in the particular case, mechanical vector, mechanical vector is house fly means house fly will transmit the disease from a person to a person how water as well as food contamination will cause the disease water and food contamination to disease infected feces 
infected feces to normal person through any of the above things it will be carried and in the case of pneumonia we see that this is called lobopodia pseudopodia in the case of amoeba lobo and the nucleus will come around cart wheel shape arrangement so this is generally the need this is the infective stage of infective stage of amoebiasis so in this only it will so cart wheel shape arrangement cart wheel nucleus is the arrangement of entamoeba is to lytica prophylaxis that is the treatment generally anti protozoan drugs to be used but every way prevention is better then cure prevention is better than cure next one ascariasis so this is a disease and caused by pathogen ascaris lumbricoides ascaris lumbricoides so this ascaris lumbricoides is a helminthic parasite that is nematoda belongs to the nematoda so it is also called as nematic helminthes or it is also called as asti helminthes any name we can call for this element this special nematia means of asti helminthes generally it affects organs which are affected in the case of this ascariasis organs affected is small intestine and large intestine so generally the affected organ in the case of ascariasis is called as small intestine or large intestine how it affects infection 
इन्फेक्शन फ्रॉम ए पर्सन टू पर्सन पर्सन टू पर्सन इज जनरली थ्रू फूड वाटर फीसिस आई एम सॉरी सो दिस इज ऑफ दिस इज विल बी स्प्रेड फ्रॉम द पर्सन टू पर्सन एंड certain times to house fly also most of the time so the contamination of the food this is the main thing generally what are the infective parts so here this are ascaris that is 2 lakh x per time enters into healthy person approximately 2 lakh eggs are laid by the ascaris and it will move from the person what happens bloody motions these are the symptoms head ache stomach pain stomach pain and intestine blockage will be there so these are the common features for that and what again how so the rapidity from larva rapidity from larva infective larva of infective larva of ascaris these are also called as extracts this is the next it is only concerned to the main point of view it is important and it is also called as round worm or pink worm here male and female or generally separate the reproductive system is also separate generally they undergo sexual mode of reproduction excretory system is developed parasitic mode of life most of them are parasitic mode of life parasitic mode of life i am nearly 1 lakh people affected in america for year so it is also this this is also called as killer disease of of you is see me point of view very important me point of view very important have a guys
by the infected person then healthy person so infection take place infection is the past so what happens already we have discussed that most of the parts could be swollen because of the toxins produced by them that will create a leg like almost like an elephant leg which is called as elephant yasis and it is also called filarial yasis because the microfilaria larva of the calaria branchiae or malaria is responsible for this this is causing it is also called as filariasis or and generally when we try to see what is the why is the female anaphylaxis mosquito and female tulex mosquito will take blood because the blood is used for brooding that is laying of eggs brooding purpose they come and attack person human beings during the laying of eggs to proliferate the population further they take the blood but unexpectedly they spread the diseases they spread the diseases hello next one ring walk as we are seeing the name it is caused by worm and it will be a ring shaped lesions will be formed on the body so it is called ring worm but this ring worm is caused by pathogen fungi you know so plant species also cause this is this fungi is a not belongs to animal kingdom it's a but it causes the disease like microsporium trichophyton Trichophyton or Epidermophyton. So these three are the causative agents. So these three causes the disease ringworm. How it will be infected? Used utensils, combs. cut cut towels of infected person used by healthy person if a person used who is infected the person Cancers are used by the healthy person. There is a chance of getting this disease. So this is how the mode of spreading. Heat and also moisture. Moisture content increases the increases 
the this is condition this is condition generally so how we can stop avoiding of using infected person personal belongings and how it can be transmitted soil is the may be it transmit so soil is the most important source of this transmission next what happens intense means high itching high itching high amount of itching can can increase the disease from place to place so where generally it is growing means joints in legs and pubic part pubic part and wet areas in body there will be more chances of so prevention of the diseases the prevention is better than cure but what we can do using the of anti fungal ointments or affected area this is one remedy and dry clothes in in hot temperature or wearing dry clothes dry clothes should be done so here we are coming across the word called growing means pubic joint pubic joint place you can see this mostly the diseases in all the places like right? joints joints joint joints joint joint arm pits so this is the about the brain one we tomorrow continue with the life history of malaria